to have someone representing you in Washington who understands what life is like for you and for most other people who live in this part of Ohio, who understand that it's tough to find a, 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 a living wage job, to hold on to a living wage job, to feel secure in your pensions, to know that your kids are going to have a decent life. So Robin is the candidate. She brings to this effort experience, having been a candidate before. Now, I want to tell you, before I was elected to Congress, I lost three times. I won on my fourth attempt. Well, Robin's not going to take that many uh, tries to make it. She's, she's, going, she's going to make it on the third attempt, special election, in ten days. Whichever candidate gets the most people out will win the election. And this is our opportunity. Now, I think I can share with you some information that you may already know. But Robin's poster is, is my poster, someone that I've had for 12 years helping me in my congressional races. There is no better in the country, in my judgment. And what we know is that this is a very winnable race. We are not going against, you know, the current, so to speak. Whichever candidate gets their people out to vote will win. And I believe we're going to do it. And I want to thank you for your efforts. It's cold. You're out here walking the streets with Robin. And in the next uh, 10 days, I hope you do everything you poss possibly can do. This is likely to be a close election. I think we're going to win, but I don't think we're going to win by huge margins. Uh, a, a handful of votes could make a difference. And all we need to do to, to know how important a single vote is, is to think about what happened in Florida when Al Gore and George Bush were running in that state. A handful of votes made the difference. And so every single vote counts. And please do whatever you can do to get every member of your family, every neighbor that you can talk to, everyone you go to church with, that you work with, urge them to get out on December the 11th and elect this good person as the next congresswoman from this great district. Thank you. Thank you. chance to shake things up in Washington on December 11th, and we have to do it because business as usual is not going to lead us to a better future. We clearly have a chance here to have someone that's going to stand up for the working people of this district. It's been a very, very long time since the people of this district have had someone that they could walk into their Congress member's office and know that that person was going to fight for you. And that's what this is all about. This district has the highest concentration of blue-collar workers than any of the other congressional state or districts in Ohio. And I intend to be there for you. You'll always be able to count on me to stand up for the working families of this district. So, but that's what's happening right now, is that you're standing up for me so that I can go to Washington and pound the podium on your behalf. And it's going to make all the difference in this district because we have so many people, like with the loss of uh, the unfortunate pending loss of American Standard. Hopefully they can still be saved. But will all these folks that have been displaced all around the district know that they that we need new leadership and some and a new direction. Change is going to take some courage, and we but we can do it. We have the people power behind it, and we have folks that are demanding and ready for change in this district. And I'm so looking forward to working for you. We're going to be able to elect a new member of Congress before Christmas. What a Christmas present that will be! And I will be the first woman to represent this district. So the women, you need to get out there and spread the word as well because this is a rare opportunity. Women hold up half the sky, but they certainly don't hold up half of Congress. So we need to change that balance. No offense to the guys, you're wonderful, but we need some more perspective. So I'm excited about working for you because there's so much to do. So let's uh, make sure that those, these last 10 days, we can just keep at it. You've been doing a fantastic job. I'm overwhelmed with the amount of support. And it just shows how much you need someone new in Congress because we're gonna make it happen. Thank you for being out here in the cold. It's been great. I've really enjoyed being with you. Thank you.